on, Daddy. Take him on. Go on, Stucky. Come on, keep going. Right. Take him on. Take him on. Come on, Daddy. Take him on. Neil, I can't hear you. Your dad will be here soon, you know. He likes to hear the evidence. Thank heavens for that. Football, football, football. Hope you had a good trip, sir. This way. Hang on time, sir. Splendid. Looking forward to this one. Looking forward immensely. Good afternoon, sir. Perfect weather for it. I'm sure you're right, sir. Shall I take that for you, sir? Oh, it's all right. If it'll stay with me. Sort of friend. Good day. Not bad. Well, you're looking very pleased with yourself. I've got tickets, Margaret. Had to queue a bit. Second row, bang in the middle. It'll be lovely. You do want to come, don't you, Margaret? Of course I do. I still can't believe it. Sir James Wilder playing here. The whole world to go for, and he comes here for one performance. Well, it is for charity, Ken. Oh, even so, we're very lucky indeed. And for Neil to get the chance to see him in the flesh. The world's number one violinist, Margaret. Neil is up there, isn't he? He's up there. Drink your tea, don't flap. It'll be that blasted football distraction. We'll have to move house before he gets down to learn the violin. Why can't they find another pitch for heaven's sake? Ken, leave him be. Margaret, please. We've discussed this. Neil's agreed. He must practice. We've a timetable to follow. But... Allow me to know what's best for him for once. The boy needs to make up his own mind. You're heading for trouble. I'm going up there. Ken! Hello, Dad. I hear no notes, Neil. It's nearly time, Dad. Ten minutes to go on my clock. Not counting time wasted, gawping at that. You can go kicking afterwards. So you've gone in then? I can't play on my own. Mr. Featherston says I need to be there. Mr. Featherston knows nothing. Kicking and dribbling, yes, but on music the man's a total blank. And don't look like that. We've been through all this. Football, football, football. It's not as if you never played Neil. I miss out, Dad. Well, practices. Mr. Featherston says that... That's enough of Featherston. Look, Neil. You'll thank me one day, you will. You have to put in the time now. You can never get back lost time with music. Believe me, you won't regret it. Some people never get the chance. That can wait. You're just staying the two nights, Sir James? Yes, I'm going back to town on Saturday. Oh, then you'll miss all the excitement. Excitement? Yes, sir, the game. Game? The town team have drawn Norwich City in the cup tie. Are they going to win? Well, sir, I'm not exactly a fan, so I wouldn't know. But what I do know, sir, is created a tremendous amount of excitement in the town. Everything is buzzing. Nobody speaks of anything else. Oh, except in your concert, of course, Sir James. Not bad. You always play football when you've done your practice, you know. I packed up. Can't play in the dark, Mum. 
keep bumping into the goalposts. Has your dad told you his surprise? What? I've got tickets. Tickets? Oh, magic! For the concert tomorrow night. Don't keep saying that word, please. Sorry. You might show a bit more enthusiasm. I had to queue, and they weren't cheap. It's not every day we get a chance to see a virtuoso like Sir James Wilder. It's all world tours with people like him. I remember when I first heard him. Pure luck, of course. There I was, bored to bits in this dismal hotel in London, away from home and fed up, and this barman says, why don't you try the concert? What concert? Classical music? No, thank you. He must be joking. You know what the barman said? He was a bit of a fan, you see. He said, they say he's going to be the best ever. I'll never forget that. So I went. Not a bean of music training in me. Your grand and granddad couldn't tell an oboe from a hot water bottle. Just not interested. I tell you, I heard heavenly music that night. The Beethoven. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. More custard, dear. No thanks. Neil? No thanks, Mum. You wait till tomorrow. That tone. You wait. You want to rush home and practice, boy. Believe me, stunning. Could I have a look at the paper, Dad? Your dad's talking, Neil. Can read the paper later. They say he gets better and better, you know. They say he's playing like a dream at the moment. At his peak. <laughs> playing like a dream. <sighs> to work. Off to bed. I thought I'd wash the car, Mum. Very funny. Come on, you've a late night tomorrow. Off you go. Neil. It's the match souvenir copy, Dad. Mum said I could have it when you'd finished. Well, I've not finished with it yet. Dad? Mm hmm? There's a practice tomorrow, after school. Featherson says I need to be there. Well, now, does he indeed? Well, you're not going. And it's Mr. Featherstone to you. But, Dad, the team. It's your day for Mr. Horsefall, and that's where you'll be at four o'clock. But, Dad. And that's the end of it. And don't think I won't check up either. Mum? What, love? Do you think he's here, in town? I mean, now? Who? Sir James Wilder. He'll be at the Calvary, I suppose. It's very posh. Your Aunt Edith had a wedding reception there. Well, why do you want to know? Oh, just wondered. Night, then. Night, love. Night, Dad. Night, Neil. Don't forget your violin in the morning. Neil. A violin. Yes, Matt, can I help you? Is James Wilder here? Sir James to you. What if he is? Um, well, I... Oh, you're a fan, are you? Want his autograph? Well, leave your book. I'll see what I can do. Uh, come back this evening. I can't promise anything. There's lots. Uh, would you give him this, please? Huh? What is it? Please. Oh, good morning, Sir James. Good morning, Arthur. Your mail. Thank you. Well, thank you. Just a minute, lad. I'm sorry about that, sir. Postman gets younger every day, don't they? I thought he was after your autograph, sir. Funny kid. Let's see what he was after, shall we? Oh, and breakfast, I think. A large one. I always eat a large breakfast on the day of a concert. The condemned man eats a hearty meal, don't you know? <laughs> Good 
Dear Mr. Wilder, please could you talk to my dad about me and the violin, please? I find it very hard, and Dad wants me to practice a lot, and I think I sound like a cat in a box sometimes. But I do try, and Mr. Horsfall says I'm not too bad for my age, really. Could you tell Dad how it is to learn? I know I listen to you because he thinks you are a very great man, and he's always talking about you. Continued over page. Yours faithfully, Neil Jordan, age 14. P.S. I'm very keen on football. Mr. Featherson says I'm very good, but I need to go to all the training sessions to get better. Dad says violin comes first. I said, so James Wilder, how do you do? I know. I mean, I, I know. Actually, I've come to see Neil. Neil? Your son, I believe? Neil? Oh, yes, uh, my son, Neil. Uh, I don't understand. Like the garden. Lots of work there, I should imagine. I like the rose trees. Shall we go in? Yes. In? Yes. Margaret! I trust Neil is in. Oh, yes, he's upstairs in his room. Margaret! Uh, practicing, no doubt. What? Oh, yes, uh, practicing. I'm very keen on practice time. It's, um... How do you do, Sir James Wilder? Pleased to meet you. Now, let me explain. Neil wrote to me. I've come to see him. Neil wrote to you? Did you know anything about this, Margaret? No, I didn't. The boy's not been making a nuisance of himself, has he, Sir James? Not at all. He's a bit of a violinist, I believe. A bit of a violinist? Well, you know very well Neil plays the violin, dear. So, shall I see him now? Would you like a cup of tea? Perfect. I never say no to tea. Live on it. We're coming tonight, all of us, to the concert. Well, I hope I don't disappoint you. Shall I see him now, Pam? Oh, yes, sir. Feel free. <laughs> Are you sure the boy's not been in trouble, sir? Not at all, not at all. A very nice letter, actually. Very nice indeed. Just a quick word, you know. I won't keep him from his practice. His room's on the right. The one with the football pictures on the door. Kenneth Keegan. Kevin to his friends, I believe. Do you think he takes sugar? What? In his tea, sugar. He's a great violinist, Margaret. But does he take sugar? Now, about your little problem. You're in a hurry, obviously. Practice has an S when it's a verb. But never mind. I didn't think you'd come. That'll kill me for this. Why should he? Fan mail. I think he'd be rather proud of you. You didn't tell I... him what... Come on, Neil. Give me credit. Ah, this is the cat box. Not bad. Now, what do you want, music-wise? Oh, dear. That. Practice pieces are so dull, aren't they? But then that's why they're practice pieces. Now then. It's the Beatles. I know what it is. You don't have to tell me. It's lovely. That's him, hey? You don't have to tell me, dear. I can hear. It's a sad sight. Like a violin without any strings. Good, are you? So? Soccer wise. Good. Well, I like it. I think I am. In what position? Striker. Is that important? Well, you have to get goals. Pitch in hard. I'm quick. Mr. Featherson says I'm good. We've got a team we haven't lost yet this season. Well, your dad's not keen, I take it. He just says that should come first. He says I mustn't waste time. Every minute counts. He's right. In a way. But football, sir. He doesn't know what it's like. He doesn't understand. He's just not interested. What are you doing tomorrow afternoon? Tomorrow afternoon? Now, correct me if I'm wrong. But there's a game on tomorrow, sort of important round here, and they are involved. Norwich City, no less. You will, of course, be there. I'm not going. Dad said it'll be too dangerous and crowded. Anyway, I've got my practice so far. I can't miss that. So you're not going? No. Then you must come to my hotel. 
I'm not going back to London till the evening. And bring your violin and bring your dad. Dad? I'll have a word with him now on my way out. Hey, look at the time. I'm on in three hours. Oh, cheer up, Neil. You asked me to help, and I'm doing my best. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow. They look a fierce lot. Mean business, do they? Uh, bye for now. Enjoy the music tonight. you're noting the technique. That allegro. Perfect. Wonderful. Pardon my French. <laughs> Lovely, dear. We must tell him tomorrow. I still can't believe it, you know. First he turns up at our house like that, and then he plays like that. Tomorrow, Neil's got the chance of a personal lesson. It's like a dream. Didn't he bow nicely? This could be your big chance, Neil. A session with a maestro. Aren't you looking forward to it? Well, sort of. Sort of? It's a music lesson from a genius, not a disco dance. I wonder if he practices bowing like that. <laughs> Bang on time! Splendid! Oh, wonderful evening, Sir James. We were bowled over. Mrs. Jordan wanted me to tell you especially. Neil was inspired, weren't you? Yes, Dad. I was a bit weak on the Allegro, I thought. However, on to more important things. I won't need that to start off with. <laughs> Arthur, look after this, will you? Very good, sir. Well, I was rather hoping you would be my guests. Guests? At the game. The game? Oh, magic. We're going to the game. Well, that went down well, didn't it? Football? I hope so. I've got three tickets here. They're not cheap, and they're not easy to come by. What with your tiny ground being packed to the brim, what? you can't refuse me. The violin lesson. The practice. I thought, but the boy's future, Sir James. The music. If only you knew I'm a fanatic, heart. you know. Norwich City. Since I was a boy, <laughs> you never change. Shall we go? Oh, magic. Neil, don't keep saying that. Look after the fiddle, Arthur. We might need it later. Very good, sir. Ready? Uh, I don't watch football. Come on, you might enjoy it. <laughs>
So, you enjoyed yourselves, I hope. <laughs> we were unlucky. Midfield, we made you look daft in the first half. Neil, you have to learn to lose sometimes. Indeed you do. I must say, I found it uh, exciting. The atmosphere, the crowd. Mind, I'm new to it. Well, I admit we have played better. I was quite relieved when the whistle went. Mm. You support a good team there, Neil. There's class there. I like your overlapping winger. Could I have a look? Pardon? Your violin. Oh, surely. Careful, Neil. It's a strat. Neil, you're holding a very a precious object there. I've and got I'll be... two, actually. Lovely. Now try it. Look at that. Oh, can I? Let's see now. Ah, here. Go on. Try that. I don't think the boy's up to it, Sir James. Oh, it's simple. Easy. Nice tone, eh? For a strat? Oh, it's magic. Neil, you play well, doesn't he? Yes, <laughs> when he wants to. But that's how it is, Ken, don't you think? With music, when you're enjoying it, nobody cracking whips. You listen to that, Neil. It's the best advice you'll ever get. Cake? Oh, thanks. I don't. This. I understand it's not just the violin he plays well. Sorry? I was referring to football. Oh, uh, yeah, well, just the school team, of course. News, Mr. Feathers is a fan, certainly. Sounds like a good judge. The man lives and breathes football. Indeed so. News, a striker, he tells me. The hard knocks brigade, dying in the box. A bright name? Yes, sir. You never know, a few more years you may find yourself playing for Chatham FC. Local lad makes good. You'll need to practice, of course. Don't you think so, Ken? Develop the skills? I uh, reckon so. Keep at it. It's a pity to waste talent, I always think. Don't you agree, Ken? You got it, and Neil has got it. You never know unless you get the chance to try it, do you? True enough. Like music, like gardening. You've got to put the time in. Now, you obviously know that, Ken, judging by your roses. Agreed? The thing is, Sir James, what to do about the music? The boy mustn't miss out on the notes. We've got this timetable. We've agreed. Come on, Ken. You said it yourself. What? Learning to lose. You said it yourself. Right. Right. That's settled, then. Could I have another go? Why not? I'm in no hurry. Do you mind if we look at the full-time scores? I always like to get the results on a Saturday. League Division now, one. about these phrases in the team ring. The first one's what? a down bow and then a long up bow in the second position.